Hey there, Zach. How you doing? Um, hope your uh, baseball game went uh, went well and you guys won. Um, cool, man. So I got our notes over here. Uh, there's three things I want to go over today. Um, first being your E minor pentatonic scale at the 12th fret. We talked about it a little bit about last time, but I want to cover it again to make sure there's no questions. Uh, number two, uh, I got a power chord puzzle for you. I have some power chords I want you to find for me on the fifth string. So you have to use your note knowledge of the notes on the fifth string and review the fifth string notes, and that way you can find them for me. And then lastly, um, I want to teach you the chords for the next song we're going to do. I just want you to learn how to, play the, how to finger the chords. Uh, don't worry about playing the song quite yet. We'll talk about that next week when you get back in here. Go, man. Let's do it. So first thing, E minor pentatonic at the 12th fret. We do the E minor pentatonic down here, right? Zero, three, zero, two, zero, two. Zero three zero oh, sorry, zero two zero three zero one bit zero three one more time zero three zero two zero two zero two zero three zero three now what I want you to do is we're gonna move up here to the twelfth fret where your double dot is so on my guitar I, I even have a double dot up here so you go up to your double dot right it's not there for decoration it's literally the same note. <laughs> open. It's the same note, right? When you play an E down here, it's E string, right? You go that double dot, you put your first finger there, that is still an E. All day long, it's still an E, right? So you start there at the 12th fret. You put your first finger there. Yeah. Next thing you do, take your third finger, and you're going to put it on the 15th fret. So where you have your next dot down here. So you're literally going to be playing from the 12th fret, and then 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, you're gonna move down to the uh, to the twelfth fret on the fifth string. You're literally just gonna go right down the twelfth fret. We're not gonna do anything mystical here. We're not jumping around. We're really gonna go right down the twelfth fret. So twelve, fourteen, right on the fifth string. Twelve, fourteen. Next string down. Same exact thing. Twelve, fourteen. All it is. Next one down, 12, 14. That's all that is right there. Next one down, 12, 15. Right, which has 12, 15 right there. And then last one, 12, 15. Oh, I must have written it there. I'll draw a line and draw it at the bottom of the page. Uh, I have all your notes right here. I'll send it to you in the, in the, the video link. One more time. 12, 15. Well, you can do 12. 13, 14, 15. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14. You're walking it right down. 12, 15. Yeah, you get to 15 for a second. 12, 15. And then you can work it backwards. <coughs> we go uh, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. 14, 12. 14, 12, 14, 12. Cool. Let me jot that down for you. I'm gonna put it right down here at the bottom of the page. Give me one second. So what I want you to do is practice this going up and down the scale. Just get in your fingers. Don't worry about any sequence patterns. Just practice this running up and down that 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14 E minor pentatonic scale. It'll be more, way more fun to solo up in that position now that you're getting the sound of the scale down in the open position. 12th fret's much more interesting. All right, and then 12, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, and then last one, 12, 15. Cool, man. <coughs> there are no questions about that. Let's move on to the next thing. Next thing you have on here, uh, power chord review. So let's go through the um, let's go through the sixth string one more time, okay? Or sorry, let's go through the fifth string one more time. When you take your pick, it's in here somewhere. When you take your pick, right, and you play that fifth string open, that is an A. Fifth string open, that's an A, right? A sharp, B, 
C, because remember there's no B sharps for you right now. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. F. F sharp. Ah, what I did wrong there. And G. G sharp. A. Back down. A. G sharp. G. F sharp. F. E. B e sharp. B. C sharp. C. B. A sharp. A. You want to run up and down that. Mm -hmm. Cool. So name those notes for going up there. And then what I want you to do is I want you to get into the power chord shape. Remember the power chord shape. If I go over here on the seventh fret, I do my first finger mute. That's what I'm doing. First finger mute. I just want to get the fifth string to ring out. Remember that drill we've been working on really hard the last few weeks, or last couple months, I should say. Right? Get ourselves that, chord, that, that note right there. What you're going to do is you're going to take your third finger, and you're going to go from six, five, on to four. So this guy right here, this is on five right here, seventh fret. Six, five, <coughs> excuse me, four. And when you play that, you can hear muted, muted, muted. Hey, that rings. That's that third finger right there. There you go, and muted. Right. So what I want you to do is you take this power chord shape right here, this one right here, first finger, third finger, right? You can see that it's on seven, on seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, ninth fret right here. You're going to take that shape and you're going to try to find me B5, D5, G sharp 5, F sharp 5, G sharp 5, F sharp 5, back and forth. I want you to find me those chords. They're all on the fifth string. All you need to do is take your first finger with this chord shape here and you need to find on this string where that B, C, so say if, this is not right, but say if like the B is up here or something like that, it's not. Um, you take your first finger and put it on that note that you're looking for, you have that power chord shape. And you play it, that's the chord you're looking for. So I want you to practice that, okay? Cool. So I want you to do your power chords, and then these chords might add up to something. I don't know. You have to figure. You have to play around with this and see if you can come back at me with it. If you put it all together, we can see what song it is. Uh oh, uh oh, give away almost give away a surprise. Cool. Third thing I want you to do is I want you to learn these chords that you're not. You can't see. I'm pointing at them. You can't see what I'm pointing at. But anyway, um, I got these chords. Wait, let me take a note in here that you have show you you have E minor seven. G or I know, but just in case you need a refresh, I've written it out for you. That's the kind of guy I am. Is that you have your E minor seven. You got yourself a G chord over here. You're gonna do that back and forth two times. E minor seven again, it's the same one here. I'm not gonna bother rewriting it. It's already there on the paper. Uh, so you do that. Next one, A7 sus four. Don't let the name scare you, it's a big long name for a simple chord, uh, relatively speaking. So you see the E minor seven here. Let's actually start with the G chord because I think that was the most familiar to you. So we've got our G chord right here, right? Got second finger, first finger, three and four. Right, we got that on there. So all you do to find the E minor seven is you take your second finger and you put it underneath your first finger on the second fret. So they're literally, they're like underneath, they're besties. They're underneath each other, right? They're right here, they're super tight, super close. Sounds like that, all right? So you have your G chord. Take your second finger, right underneath, same fret as the first finger, second fret. Right? You have that there. So the first part of the song is gonna be E minor seven. seven. 
one sus four, all you do to get this chord, you take your E minor seven chord, right? You make these two guys right here, these two fingers, down each one string. Four and three, that's all you do. seven a seven plus four. just back and forth that's what you do so it looks like this so you start with e minor seven part of it. G7 sus 4, just bring those two fingers down. those chords back and forth and then next week I'll show you what to do with them. Cool man, that's what we have time for today. Do you have any questions for me? No? All right, cool. I'll send this over to you. I'll send that over to you. If you have questions, do not be afraid to shoot me a message. I don't mind at all. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. It might take me a day to get back to you, but I don't mind. All right, man. I'll catch you next week, okay? Take it easy. Bye.